That was a good team win. All right, we talked about uh, uh, this week it was, hey, just find a way. Win ugly, if there is such a thing. What I was talking about that is everybody, you know, put down your personal goals, your personal agenda. Let's make it all about the team. And, uh, I mean, uh, very satisfying win. You say, well, coach, it's just one win. Uh, but at this point in the season, we're a tired football team. And the kids really gave us all they had in practice this week. And then they left, I thought, they kind of left their guts out on that field today. And, uh, you know, it wasn't pretty early, right? We're down 14 nothing. Could have wavered, right? Could, could, have, could have been ugly today. Fall back 17 straight points, okay? Get to halftime tied. And then we took control in the third quarter. Very proud of that offensive line. Very proud of uh, Jared Neal. And the wide receivers made some big catches. And the defense getting the turnovers today. So, great team win. Coach, obviously you guys took control of this thing really in the second half, but it would, given the fact you were down 14 nothing and what's happened here the last couple of times, would it be fair to say there was some extra significance in those first two touchdowns to get back in this thing? Oh, no doubt. Uh, I can't remember what you know. I can't remember what the drive situation was to get it 14 to seven. Uh, but uh, no, I think we grew up a little bit today. Regardless of whatever happens the rest of the season, whatever happens next week, this was a win that I've been waiting on all year. Okay, the Chattanooga, we never were facing any type of, of adversity. Central Arkansas, we didn't really face any type of adversity. Right? We had to lead the whole game. So today, to see us uh, fight back and do the things that we talked about to get the win, it was very gratifying. And uh, you know, I appreciate the kids and yeah. their commitment. Uh, the last two touchdown passes, Jared Neal threw pretty much on point right where they needed to be. <laughs> was this uh, was this his best game? Do you think? Well, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, statistically, I don't know what he threw for. You know, two forty-five, eighteen, twenty-four. You no, know, but this was a run game first. Okay, we, we had just committed and said, we're going to run the football. You saw us kind of play with an extra offensive lineman. If you notice that today, we played with six offensive linemen most of the day. And just said, here it comes. You know, and there's a lot of three-yard runs, four-yard runs, five-yard. When we got the second five today, we were able to do some things. And, uh, you know, and, and here's the thing. Dylan was going to play a lot early. Uh, that was a dumb call. I put him in a bad situation, calling the option, coming out of the end zone. Uh, I take total blame for that. That's... You know, yeah, I didn't take care of the ball, but I, I, it's my job to put him in better scenarios than that, and, and uh, you know, that, that's just on me. How is his health today? I mean, how do you feel? He was good. Uh, he was good. Uh, you know, it's always different when you go to the ground the first time. Uh, he had a good run. I think it was about an eight or nine yard run the first time he carried it and knocked his contact out, so he had to come out. And, you know, it's been three weeks since he's been hit, and so I think it jarred him pretty good and uh, good enough to knock his contact out. So uh, but he was ready to go back, but at that point, you know, him and Jared kind of split, and Jared kind of got a little tempo, and that's the right way we stayed for that game. Could change this week. The, the defense, I know something you've wanted to, to force more turnovers. You finally did that today. Yeah. Uh, is that, is, I mean, how big of a key is that for you all to kind of have the season you need? Well, for us, you know, because like I said, we're, you know, there's other offenses that are, you know, East, that are Eastern Illinois type, explosive offense. And, you know, today for 40 something points, very proud of that. But what did we get turnover wise today? It's not three. 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 We got three and they got one. Zero. Uh, well, the touchdown. So yeah. I guess yeah. so three to one. Right, that's big. I mean, we, if we can always win the turnover margin, we'll, we'll have a chance each week, okay? So uh, that was good to see us get it done. You talked about a couple of week, uh, weeks ago wanting to control the game, control the tempo. Right. I think you might have done that today. 84 plays, uh, you controlled the clock, almost got them right. uh, for almost 40 minutes to, right. to 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, and, and we don't approach it every week like that because there's some weeks that, uh, you know, that we we may be – a team may have an advantage on us at, a, at the defensive line or at the linebacker position or at the corner position. So, uh, this staff, we do a great job, I feel like, of, of each week kind of – I won't say reinventing ourselves. It's within the same menu that we were operate since camp. But, you know, today we went out of the, you know, the unbalanced package. Last week we were out of 20 personnel. The week before that uh, it was mostly full wide. The week before that it was out of 21 personnel. So, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those things to where – we, we, we decided to attack the defense a certain way. The kids respond really well, absorb all that information that week, and, uh, you know, we go and play. So uh, we're not one of those teams that says, hey, this is what we do each week and, you know, try to beat you. That's, that's just not our personality. And the kids do a great job of learning. Defensively, you guys had two standout performances. Uh, Tony Bell had 16 tackles, four and a half sacks, while uh, Thad Williams had two interceptions and Cam Harris also had an interception. Just talk to those threes play in your defensive unit as a well. whole. Well, you know, I thought, our, first of all, I thought our defense our coaches had a great plan. I thought Jeff Bird had a good plan because if you saw, you know, you may have been very frustrated that we weren't always getting to the quarterback, right? But we were rushing three at times, but we were bracketing, you know, uh, how many catches did he have? Uh, you know, 
know, Powell had three catches for 61 yards. You know, he's such a, he's a great talent. So we had a lot of bracket coverage on him. Uh, that way, you know, you don't want to leave him one-on-one. The guy's just too good. And so, you know, they may have held it for five or six seconds, but nobody was open. And then, uh, then we would bring a fourth guy, you know, we were getting some sacks. Sometimes bring a fifth guy, you bring some sacks. So we did a great job mixing it up, making him go to the second and the third receiver, uh, you know, instead of his, always his primary receiver. And, uh, you know, I see the stats here with a nine of 20 for 96 yards, and the next guy was three and nine. So uh, was six sacks on the day. So very proud. That's mostly rushing three. So proud of the defense line. Coach, you said you were waiting for this game. What, what is it about this game that you were waiting for? What, 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 do you, what did you see that you hadn't seen yet? Well, just, you know, in the conference, right? I mean, Murray's a good team. They, got, they, they were five and three, uh, you know, with a couple losses in some 1A schools. Uh, you know, for a couple of different things. One, you know, we lost our last two at home. All right, so, I mean, that's a, uh, you know, we, where, where you question yourself, where were your confidence against good teams at home? Because it's usually reverse, right? We usually win at home, and, and you have to go face, you know, face your fears on the road. Uh, you know, just, just, to, just to see guys celebrating in the locker room, to see them uh, just elude confidence on the field because I uh, felt like we, we were more physical, you know. Uh, to see the defense, you know, for us to play smart. Right? We talked about being smart and turn this thing into, you know, a proverbial street fight, and that's just talking about being more physical. You know, so for us, we had three penalties. Now, probably could they have called, could they have called 20 penalties? It probably could, and the most official crews we get are calling 20, but today they called three against them and three against us, and we were able to stay on schedule and not get behind. And, you know, I don't know what happened on the big catch down there, so, you know, they said he was out of bounds, that he got pushed out of bounds, and we responded and came back, and, you know, still able to get over the hump. So all of you about that, it was a team win, and I uh, just thought the kids gave, me, gave our program great effort. Thanks, Coach.